This is the block assembly video for the M8 block. And we have a modified block here. So we're going to go to the book, the booklet. And so you can see that some of these little tiny triangles have been made into points. So this is my actual block here. When I did my layout, the A and the B size triangles were similar, but they were different enough to be labeled. So I made sure that I labeled these so that when I did my block prep, I knew exactly which ones were supposed to go where. And I've got my block laid out here. And it is a directional fabric. I've got like a dot. And it doesn't look like it's directional, but these can look different if you're not careful. So I just made it, you know, be consistent and all this stuff. So we have a, let's go over the assembly here. So I've got borders. Obviously you're just going to take these three pieces and make a, a line, a border out of it. See, and then we can attach this. So we're going to function with this square here. And if you look at it, it's really an on point block. So right here, I've got a row of three pieces connected with connected to a rectangle with this. So this is a block. We'll make this block. And then we've got these three pieces here that will attach to this centerpiece. And you're going to put these two pieces on the end. And this is the row you're going to, and then you're going to put this one on this one to make the row and so on and here. So you can make this square first, or you can do this row by row. I will probably do this row by row just because of the way I tend to do things, but you've got a few different options here when you're doing that. So the basting for this is going to be um, like, okay, so for these here, so this one right here, I'm going to baste this first and then these, it's going to go towards here so that actually it's going to be the tag is going to be like here and here for this. And this is going to do the same way. We're going to base this here and then this is going to be basted. So the tags are going to go this way. For these, I'm going to baste this long sides first. I usually do short sides first. But in this case, I'm going to do long sides first so my tags go away from this so that these guys can have the tag freedom over going on here. These are just going to be an opposite side and then an opposite side and no big deal. This I'm going to do short sides first and then the long sides. These little pointed ports, I'm going to do these first to get the best sharpness on here. Then this and then I'll do the long sides last. Same thing here, short sides first, long sides and all that. So the first thing I'm going to do is baste one of these rows. So let's call this a row. I'll base this row and then assemble that to get started. So I've got my first three pieces basted and I will go ahead and assemble those into a row. So I've assembled my row and I um, have my little, this is all lined up here. So the next section will be this row right here. And I will base and attach each one at a time. So I'll base these two and attach them and then base this one and attach it and so on and so forth. So I've basted and connected these two pieces and I've basted this third piece. So I'm going to connect this here and then keep going down the row. So I've attached these pieces to the other row, basted this last triangle, and I will finish off the row with that one. So I've completed the second row, and I will attach it to this first row to keep them in order. So I've attached the rows together, so this is what the upper corner of the middle will look like. So I'm going to set this aside, and my next section is these three pieces. So I will base and attach them into the next row. So I've attached these three pieces together, and now I will attach it to my other unit that I made already. So I've attached my skinny row to the other two, and so I have this piece now. And the next row is going to consist of these pieces. So it's going to emulate 
this but on this side so I'll get to basting and attaching that that stuff so I've assembled this entire row and now I will connect it to the other unit so I've attached my row to the other unit so we've got this so far attached and I've basted my last little section of this center portion and I will now assemble that into the row so that I can then attach it to the center. So these are attached into the row and now I will put it on the edge of the corner. So I've attached this bottom corner so all of my center square part is done. So I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to assemble the upper and lower borders. I'll assemble these three and then stick it on here. So I've got my pieces basted. I did this in order. I did one, two, three, and four for basting so that my tag will go in this way. And then the triangle I did one and two and then I did the hypotenuse last so that it goes into this as well. This way they'll keep the tags out of here when I go to attach this. On the bottom one I've already I've already uh, sewn it together so this is going to end up going attached to here and so now I will assemble this row and then I can get them attached to the middle. So now I've got the top and bottom attached to the center and it should look like this and now I'm going to assemble each side and then I can attach it to the center as well. So I've assembled this side and now it's ready to attach to the center and I've already attached this side to the center so I will finish up the block. So I've attached the other side of the block and now I have a completed M8 block.